I have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for for five years now, and I finally seen the light. Odd Eyes best deck, baby. Odd Eyes deck football coming right now. So if you love Odd Eyes, you already know. Smash the subscribe button and let's go, baby. Odd Eyes pendulum deck profile. Playing Odd Eyes in your Endymion deck gives you so much advantage. I'm gonna show you guys right now. There's so many good uses for playing the Odd Eyes engine for you. Not even just for fun, but playing legit. So we don't open any Odd Eyes cards here, but I'm gonna show you now just how well it, co it combos with the entire deck. We're gonna eventually draw one, obviously. And you're gonna see, uh, so over here, we're gonna use all the draw power we have in this deck. And I I'm gonna stop it right here. After we draw a few more cards, we're gonna end up with a Sky Iris. And what Sky Iris does with the entire Endymion engine is unbelievable. And don't get me started. The fact that you're actually able to play Dark Worm now. Rip our boy Dark Worm. We haven't played Dark Worm in a while. But welcome back, Dark Worm, huh? I'm going to show you guys now how good Abductor is. And with Sky Iris, or even a Servant card. So you activated three spells. And after three spells, we're going to activate Abductor to search Servant. We're going to use Iris to actually pop the Abductor. So even if they ask a Servant, they, 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 they can't do it. doesn't do anything. And they're not asking the Iris because they know Servant's going to resolve. So it's just super cool. The synergy with the entire Odd Eyes engine together with... The, the Pendulum deck and with the Endymion. And oh, we're not forgetting, we can't forget the biggest part about it. And you're playing dragons in your deck. So you not only get a actually more consistent deck because you're playing a lot more spell cards with Sky Iris. You are being able to play second better because you play one Mystic Mind, which now you have three options for Mystic Mind. Hello, Mia, can I help you? You guys wanna see Mia? Yeah, too bad. Anyways, uh, we have Ming's going second better, Ming's going first better, way better. Because you have access to one secret village in the deck, you have access to guard dragons now, and everyone knows how good they are. So we're gonna use and don't get me started on souls with field spells. It kind of just gave, brings the whole Endymion deck together. So stay tuned till the end. I will showcase the second combo as well as the deck profile. And don't forget, guys, make, we're making Crowley and playing dragons. That's sick, right? They work together, but they only work together if you purchase a beautiful trip gaming playmat on tripgaming.com, baby. So don't forget to go on tripgaming.com and get the most beautiful playmat because that's the only playmat in the world that dragons and spellcasters work together. So if you don't if you don't have one of those, I might not even recommend playing this deck. In fact, I wouldn't even recommend playing Pendulums if you're not playing on a Trip Gaming uh, playmat on tripgaming.com, which you can get at tripgaming.com, which is on tripgaming.com. Thanks. Now, uh, we're gonna continue on to our combo. We're gonna Pendulum Summon. Uh, you wanna make sure in your combo that you have room for your last Guard Dragon LP play. Uh, our Persona Dragon is very, very good. What we did there, by the way, I'm gonna mention something I didn't mention earlier, is that we use Persona and Abductor to switch spots uh, because I should not have activated the Persona right away. That was just a stupid move on my end. You could consider it even a misplay. So I should have just waited until after my draw. That's why I, I, I switched them out quick. I uh, just show you guys the combo. It's not about like taking back plays. I'm not playing against anyone. I'm just showing you guys a combo. Uh, we're gonna do the Vortex combo here. Going Celine. Celine, uh, the beauty of the cross sheep is Celine can turn into a free Appalooza. So we're gonna get a free Appalooza here, and then we're gonna activate. Uh, we could have actually summoned a Mighty Master if we wanted to, uh, instead of just a random card for it to make Appalooza and make Appalooza with a Persona Dragon. But because we don't have scales on the Doctor, opted not to, but you could have easily made a Mighty Master and link away with the Persona Dragon. What we're gonna do now is activate LP. LP, summon Sloth. What deck in the pond is breaking this? Now, if you're saying some deck like, like oh, what about Dark Ruler no more? Ha ha ha. That's what replay number two is. This is replay number two, and I'm going to showcase you guys right now how uh, Dark Ruler don't do anything, bro. It really doesn't do anything. Like, uh, the way you build a deck, first, second, or third, again, that was just a game one uh, replay. And this hand's not that good. Imagine if you open Servant with this hand. If you open Servant or Abductor with this hand, it's ridiculous the stuff you can do. But as you can tell, there's just not, no Servant or Abductor. So it's a little weak. Uh, what you notice there is more reason why Sky Iris is so powerful with the deck. I mean, you're playing multiple Sky Irises, you're playing multiple Dragon Ravines, you're playing multiple ways in the Dark War, more extenders, more everything. You're able to play another Link 2 Power Card in Romulus if you open a bunch of Dragons. Uh, we're gonna go Crowley here. We're gonna draw. Uh, obviously, gonna, uh, we did not normal summon yet, so we're gonna use all the draws we want. We did not use Soul. We're gonna draw there, draw two. We're gonna get Mastery. So, there, that's what you do with the lore. You just get rid of the card you don't really need in this situation. And just look how plus this is. For those who don't know, this set card is a secret fucking village, boys. This is literally how do you lose? How do you lose when you have six negates? Your opponent has six cards. You already see where this is going. So, you're not only gonna put up a full board, but you're also gonna be protected from every spell card, too. And we gave him a Mystic Mind, but that's gonna get popped by Mighty Master. Never give the Mystic Mind on purpose. You know, you can pop it if you want to. You can give him another field spell. You play around four field spells. And uh, you pendulum some in there. We're gonna correct the zone a little bit. Activate Mighty Master scale to pop that for free. Uh, go into Absolute Dragon. And what? Uh, Absolute. And then here, we're gonna cross sheep. I'm gonna show you guys something important here. What I should have done 
So Celine right here is the best play instead of going straight into LP. Because Celine would be kind of useless after LP's on field. So Celine should have summoned anything. Celine and the anything go into Appalooza. So the Celine should be in Appalooza. And you go into LP, you go into Sloth again. And look, literally the exact same board we did last game. Except you got a secret village. You got a secret village. Like on top of everything. How do you lose? Honestly, I don't understand. When you look at the deck profile, it's just all spell cards, man. It's all spell cards or draw cards. You're not putting many bricks per se. So in the Magician version, I understand. You can draw some Magicians, but are they really bricks? Are Dragons really bricks? The beauty of Persona Dragon and Mirage Dragon, now I do understand there's no uh, per, per, uh, Odd Eyes Arc, Odd Eyes Arc Dragon, and that's okay because you don't need more level sevens. The goal is not Absolute Dragon. Uh, the goal is to make sure your Guard Dragon combo resolves. And that's the beauty of Sky Iris. So Sky Iris not only makes Chronograph and one card Crowley because you special any spellcaster. It doesn't only make Abductor and Serpent resolve every every time you open it. it. Doesn't make Mastery better. It makes everything better. It makes a lure live every single time. It gives you a low skill. It gives you a high skill. It gives you an engage. There's like seven, eight, eight different reasons you want to play Sky Iris. Better with Magician Souls. It literally just completes the whole deck. So this is not no random Odd Eyes video just to make Odd Eyes players happy. That you can legit play Odd Eyes in your Endymion deck and it's potentially the best way to play this deck. In the future, I will showcase different duels with an Odd Eyes Live. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments. But this is a pretty straightforward list and straightforward if you have a brain. But a lot of people play like 15 Odd Eyes cards in their deck. That is ridiculous. Why would you do that when you don't want to open the monsters? You want to open the spells and you have three Sky Irises. You can play four if you want, but the way I look at it is if you don't open the Iris, then you're going to open an Odd Eyes card because there's like six Odd Eyes cards. So you're still getting access to them. So you get your Guard Dragon card for the Mirage or you get your low scale or high scale. It works out amazing. I do not recommend playing a high engine. If you're playing pure Odd Eyes, then oh yeah, by all means, take out all the other spell classes that are not named Servant or Abductor. Go ahead, by all means. But this is a Pendulum Odd Eyes deck and it's not an Odd Eyes pure deck. You're not trying to play pure decks, you're trying to win. You're trying to synergize all the Pendulum decks together to find a way to make them all work. Because at the end of the day, they all do the same thing. We do play one Mystic Mind in the main deck and one Secret Village in the main deck because they're accessible via Terraforming and set rotation. So you'll be surprised. Some hands, if you, so if you open Servant or Abductor, and we didn't even open Servant or Abductor, but we didn't open Servant once. We searched out with Abductor and popped with Iris. We didn't actually open Servant once. We didn't open Servant or Abductor game too, bro. But we still played around all of it like it was nothing. So uh, that's okay, you don't need to open it. But for those hands that you open it, and if you're not like as intellectual as me, to be honest, uh, you might not be able to pull off the 6 game board. The game two board was pretty difficult to do. It required a lot of thinking. Game one, I had to like, take up one of the plays back. Uh, you gotta think about your play. So in that case, you have an easy negate in Secret Village. So it's good to have one. Obviously you would side it out later. But that's it for the main deck. Uh, only play three spell cards. Don't play five in this engine because you can normal dark room a lot. We play two to three dark rooms in case you might want to normal summon the blue boy. Souls is broken. And you need to play, I know some building Tempest is a brick, but I'm gonna take it out. But if, without the Strudo, because it's banned, uh, Foolish and Shrine are really not, and Dragon Ravine are not that powerful. And by default, Romulus is useless. So you definitely want to have one level seven. And that's also why you can free up not playing the brick of, of Arc Dragon. Obviously Arc Dragon is the best card in pure uh, Odd Eyes, but you don't want to play too big of an engine. I would also play Sky Iris at maybe two. You are playing two searches for it. Typically, I, uh, Terraforming and should get the Sky Iris, but I can't stress enough how good Sky Iris is. So I might play two of these and you could put 10. I don't want to take out the spell book engine. It's so good because it's searchable all the time. I really can't take anything out. Like that's how, how good the deck is. That's how I have to cut it. Maybe if we play 43, uh, playing 40 uh, higher counts not that bad. We're not playing desires because a bunch of one ups uh, that you actually need. Uh, Set rotation is dead, all this stuff dead. And yeah, that's it for that. And the side deck, we put in super poly because super poly alone destroys the FTK. But I do not recommend playing hand traps in this deck. Just the way it's built, it can't play a one card engine. You need like a few cards to play. That's why we don't play uh, hand traps. But one poly ends the entire FTK and the rest of the side deck just distorts everything else. Uh, you have these two to ensure it's good for everything and all that. Extra deck, only two sling, you're not playing pure and demian. Uh, Romulus Crowley, Great Link, two starters, and basically normal stuff for the rest of it. Sometimes when you don't want to, uh, you don't want to banish your slots, slots like the main part going first. It's also the main part going second. Because you're still playing Mighty Master, you're still playing LP, you're still playing so many ways to destroy your opponent going second. You're playing Pendulum, just pen summon and destroy their board. So after you destroy their board, you drop a slot and they can't do anything. What's the Rock player doing the slot? They're passing their turn. What's any deck doing the slot? They're literally just passing their turn. Drop this and you auto win. That's why you play the LP. But in the scenarios where you cannot actually go into the, the Sloth for whatever reason, or let's say, for example, Sloth doesn't work on a deck. Let's say you're playing an Altergeist deck. 
That's why the Sayuja and Pisti are there. Because it allows a secondary play, which I can show in the future. Uh, secondary play, uh, resolving LP and Pisti once each. And Sayuja draws to reach into the secret village. And to do keep on going after that. And uh, all this. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Get the, smash the like button as well. We almost have 31,000 subscribers, boys. So smash the subscribe button. And lastly, go check out the people playing on TripGaming.com. Because if you don't play on TripGaming.com, if you don't play on TripGaming Play, man, from TripGaming.com, by the way, so you ASAP, then, bro, you're not even playing Pendulum. So what are you doing? Get on the ASAP. And I'll see you guys in the next video, boys. Peace. <laughs>